Hi students, I am Dr. Badrinath. Uh, today's video is a gas, 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 gastro retentive drug delivery system. Uh, we know that uh, it is a gas here. Gas will form here in the stomach. Okay, right. That's why this is a gastric, also called as a gastric. Okay, gastro retentive drug delivery system, GRDDS, is uh, today's topic. The highlighted part is the stomach here, right? Yeah, see, you can see that here, gastric emptying time is a two hours. Whatever you have taken a food particle or a drink, so either it may be a water, cool drink or whatever it may be, either it may be a tablet or capsule, whatever you have taken, maximum time it is there in the stomach for a two hours. It is a maximum time. After that, there will be an emptying. Gastric will become empty, emptying. So it becomes a empty after two hours. Gastric emptying, gastric means stomach, okay, right. So within a two hours, whatever the content which is present in the gastric or in the stomach, it will be pushed, it will be pushed into the intestine, into the intestine, okay. Okay, this entire system we are calling as a gastrointestinal tract, gastrointestinal tract. Even the GIT also, even the GIT, gastrointestinal tract, total time is a 24 hours. Whatever we have taken today morning, uh, 9 o'clock, tomorrow up to 8 o'clock or 7 o'clock, the empty. The total GIT will become an empty. It will not retain anything more than a 24 hours. GIT, entire GIT. Okay. Now, what's the problem here is the... Most of the drugs are absorbing, most of the drugs are absorbing from the stomach or upper part of the intestine. This part you have to keep in your mind. Stomach as well as the upper part of the intestine. These are the two parts. Most of the drugs are absorbed. Okay, right. Now, what is the maximum time spending here? Is it two hours or maximum three hours maybe? Because it including the upper part of GAT, maximum there might be a three hours maybe. Right? So it is not sufficient uh, for those drugs. Okay. So now that's why what we are doing is uh, we want to retain the formulation in the stomach itself for a days together. One day, two day, three day, four days also. One week also maximum. You have to design such a great formulation so that the tablet will be remain in the stomach more than a seven days. So you will get wonder how, how it is possible. What we have to do is uh, you have to take a rope, a very strong rope, and we have to tie the stomach uh, along with the tablet formulation. Like that, we can do something. What is that something? I will explain you in this video. Keep in your mind, two hours, 24 hours, total GAT, everything. It should be in the next day, morning fecal matter. That is a key. So this is your uh, syllabus. What are the topics what we are going to be covering in this video? Introduction of GI, highlighted points, advantages, disadvantages, approaches for GRDDS. Four uh, approaches are there. Floating, high density system, inflatable, gastroadhesive system. Total four are there and we will see the applications also. Everything. So this is my mobile app. You can be downloaded from the Google Play Store. Okay. And uh, open the app and go to the store option here. See the Cursor, see the pointer, store option. There uh, you can be find all my presentations in the PDF format. If you directly straight forward, you can be use them as a notes. Directly you can be write the same points in the examination. You will get more than a distinction. I am very sure, very sure. This is my mobile YouTube channel. In this YouTube channel, go to the playlist option. So there I have arranged all my videos in the subject wise, each subject again topic wise. Yeah, here you can see the difference. Very nice diagram. Very nice diagram. This is the conventional formulation. So if you're taking a tablet, it enters in the stomach. Okay. And it releases the drug particles. Okay. So drug particles will be absorbed here and absorption will be there from upper part of intestine and lower part of intestine also. Okay. But it will be emptied. It enters and exit within a two hours. Two hours. This is about the conventional formulation. Whereas a gastro-retentive formulation, see here, 
entry is there exit is not there you cannot find the exit whatever you have taken a tablet it will be remain in the stomach that's why called as a gastro stomach retentive residence it will be remain in the stomach but however it releases the drug particles these drug released drug particles will enter into the intestine also but formulation will not enter into the intestine formulation remains in the stomach whereas it releases the drugs that drug particles will be absorbed from the stomach as well as from the intestine also but however formulation will not enter into the intestine that is a so this is a, what uh, i have explained that is the biggest limitation is a 2 hours so what we have to do is we have to make same what i have explained that is so there is a four approaches are there in your uh, syllabus they have mentioned okay right uh, you can all see the diagrams first one is a floating floating keep in your mind the tablet will start float on the gi contents gastrointestinal contents gi fluids gastro gastric fluids on the gastric fluid it becomes a swell it becomes a swell okay and it starts floating so it remains in the stomach itself even though gastric emptying there is always some liquid will be there on, in the stomach in the liquid will be there some liquid will be there again so it starts again floating floating system this is also called as a low density that's why it starts floating low density it is also called as a buoyancy so tablet floats on the gastric contents now high density system so here a tablet has in a high density it will be settled at the bottom see the curvature so even though there was a gastric emptying it remains in here only because high density is there it go and settle at the bottom of the stomach okay high density now third one is a inflatable inflatable means swellable okay expandable swellable plug system because it go and plugs the pyloric sphincter here what happen tablet swells and cannot pass through the pyloric sphincter so tablet will become more than the diameter size of the pyloric sphincter so even though there was a gastric emptying this will not be enter into the intestine because of the larger size it is called implantable expandable or whatever it may be next is gastro adhesive adhere it adhere to the stomach just like a gum it adhere so it is also called as a muco adhesive bio adhesive so tablet adhere to inner surface of the stomach so it will be retained these are the four important ways to make your formulation to be there in the stomach itself for a days together two days three days four days that depends upon your design how you are going to be design first we will see one by one tablet floating low density buoyancy here tablet density must be less than the gastric contents density so that's why it floats okay it is also called as a buoyant floats on gastric contents some uh, some gastric content even after the gastric emptying tablet remains in the stomach for a prolonged period there is always some liquid will be there uh, there is 100% 95% of the gastric content will be empty some 5% of the liquid will be there always in the stomach okay that's why that is we are taking as a consideration advantages so poorly this is this system is a floating system is useful for poorly soluble uh, water soluble poorly alkaline ph soluble drugs drugs which are unstable in the intestinal fluids because it is a stomach okay here it is a good okay it is having a good solubility and uh, it is a stable in the stomach primarily absorbed from this, those drugs which are primarily absorbed from the stomach and those drugs which are having a narrow window of absorption okay from the intestine so disadvantages it must be taken along with the full glass of water not half glass half glass is not sufficient here second system high density system tablet density must be greater than the gastric content density 3 grams per centimeter cube centimeter cube it must be 3 grams hence the tablet remains at the bottom of the stomach 
it withstands the peristaltic movements also even though there was a very strong peristaltic movement the tablet will withstand that and it remains always for a prolonged period in the stomach so we have to use a high density excipients here see barium sulfate we are using density is a mind blowing density it is a 4.95 so zinc oxide titanium oxide like that we are using uh, but uh, keep in your mind disadvantages is also there some patients cannot withstand uh, formulation cannot withstand because of their strong peristaltic movement in some patients you can find a very strong peristaltic movement in such a case this dosage form will become a failure that is a disadvantage just <coughs> inflatable inflatable means size of the formulation will be increased like this it becomes a, a fluffy in nature fluffy in nature okay fluffy size will be a more and it is having a full holes pores small small pores will be there size of the formulation will be increased inside the stomach not outside inside the stomach tablet size become more than the size of the pyloric sphincter inflatable chamber you have to draw this diagram in the examination inflatable chamber this inflatable chamber is filled with the liquid ether example that is a liquid ether example so your entire formulation this capsule or tablet become will, will become a swell okay and uh, it that why this is calling as a plug system it go on the plugs it blocks the pyloric sphincter whenever there was gastric emptying uh, this go and uh, stops it plugs the pyloric sphincter but keep in your mind it must be a porous in nature because all the gastric fluids even though there was a plug gastric contents has to be passed through the holes or through the pores of the system okay and it will be enter into the intestine okay so your tablet formulation but remains in the stomach itself expandable swellable plug system it can't pass through the pyloric sphincter and last one gastro adhesive also called as a muco adhesive or bio adhesive we are using a adhesive polymer muco adhesive drug delivery system i have already made the videos it is available in my playlist we have to use the chitosan carbopal sodium alginate hpmc k4m along with the drug so drug plus excipients we are mixing compressing into a tablet okay right it since there was a strong adherence it withstands the peristaltic movements and also gastric emptying uh, but however here the mucus is repeatedly forming in the stomach mucus that is only the biggest uh, drawback so whenever there was a mucus is new mucus tablet go and attach it to the mucus that mucus will become a erodible after some time after a few days two days three days and again fresh mucus will in such a case what happen the entire formulation will be uh, will not be adhere okay it will be removed from the uh, mucus okay it is very difficult to ensure that tablet adhere to the stomach well, there was no scientific studies that uh, Uh, each we cannot go on to check each and every patient either it is at hair in the patient inside the stomach and all it is so evaluation is somewhat uh, difficult and here you can see the advantages of this grds all four systems advances okay first one is that it reduces the dosing frequency <clears throat> dose reduce see daily one tablet the patient has to take now what happen after grdds doctor will prescribe seven days one one tablet is enough for seven days because the tablet what you have taken it will be remain in the stomach for seven days because of grdds either it may be any technique among the four any technique whatever it may be patient complaints is more patient will feel very happy even the, instead of purchasing a <coughs> instead of purchasing a seven tablets daily one tablet better to purchase one tablet for week improved drug absorption you can be find because always drug is released continuously in the stomach and uh, it will be absorbed from the stomach and upper part of the intestine sustained and desired rate of drug delivery you can be achieved targeted drug therapy also you can be wherever you you want to target this part or this part or this part okay pylo near the pyloric sphincter and uh, this is very useful for those peptic ulcer drug because uh, like uh, rifampicin 
sorry, not rifampicin, omeprazole, all these, uh, <coughs> all the, those drugs which are, we are used to treat the acidity drugs, those you can be designed. So the tablet will be remain here, it releasing the continuously local uh, drug delivery, local acting like uh, antacids, so whatever it may be like that, it can be designed. And the uh, possibility, bioavailability improvement will be there. And uh, you can be find the disadvantages. Since the drug is always releasing in the stomach, stomach will get irritated. Especially NSAIDs, non steroid because they, they, they are not gastric friendly. NSAIDs are not gastric friendly. Okay. And, and uh, some of the drugs are not uh, stable in the gastric pH, insulin. So it is not suitable for those drugs. And the nifedipine, significant first pass metabolism, if it is there, it is also not suitable, nifedipine, because all the stomach GI contents must pass through the first pass metabolism. Like that, these are the, requires the high level of the fluid, gastric emptying varies within patient to patient. In some patient, it is at three hours, it may be a four hour maximum, average is at two hours. And these are the application that you can be not on the right in the examination. So I will end my session here. You can be download and uh, so one by one each and every subject I will keep on uploading.